Hello, this is John. Welcome back to another food review with me. And welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today I will be doing the second in a series of four cup noodles sodas. Today is day two. If you saw my first one, it was the original cup noodles. Day two, we're trying this. This is cup noodles curry. You can see this is again the 50th anniversary marked cup. And this is cup noodles curry soda, also celebrating the 50th anniversary of the invention of cup noodles. So the curry one is a lot of different flavors actually, um, besides the curry powder itself, which is the main name on the thing, but it also has lard, which is pork fat, uh, onions, sugar, salt, carrots, fish extract, peanut butter, other spices, the condiments on top of this thing. If I peel back the top, what you can see on there are fried potatoes, uh, minced pork, carrots, and green onions. There's also other flavorings in the soup base itself. But what we have here is a curry noodle Again, you pour hot water into the cup, wait for three minutes, and it's ready. I have not had any version of cup noodles curry, but again, I am very impressed with the amount of toppings on top of this. Very different than cup noodles that you'll see here in the States for sure. Um, let's go ahead and taste a little bit of it. I'm going to get some of that fried potato bit. and some of this minced pork. Then I'm going to dig really deep in there and get some nice sauced up noodles. I've noticed this both for the first one and the second one even when you fill up the water to the top it really is not going to give you a ton of broth the seasonings and the toppings and the noodles really soak in a lot of the water that you add to it. It's not a spicy curry at all. It's just a really flavored curry. Um, as with most Japanese curries and Nissin Cup Noodles is a Japanese brand. The potatoes are interesting. Because they were all on top, the water really soaked in from the bottom and the things on the very top didn't get as um, wet as other things but it got enough for sure but it left the potatoes keeping some bit of that like fried nature to it it was just like a little crispy still <coughs> I don't know if I've ever had a potato of any sort any kind of ramen dish that I've ever had. And for curry ramen, the only ones I've had were the Bulldog Spicy Curry and the Paldo Volcano Curry. So, out of all the curry ramen I've had, they were both extremely spicy. This one's not spicy at all. It's much more rich and savory. Let's see if I get a little bit of the, the soup out of here.
even the soup is very starchy. Let's see how the curry soda compares to the cup noodle curry. This is supposed to be a cola based soda with curry spices added. It's got a nice hiss to it. This uh, cell used by date is February 9th. So again, according to the label, should still be in good shape. And there you have it. It does have a very cola-like color. And it has a cola curry smell. You can definitely smell that, like, caramely coke cola type of smell but also that spiced curry smell just like how in the, the previous one the ginger ale one still had a very spicy smell to it as well the, the curry one is, is just as, as good let's go ahead and give it a taste It is exactly how it's explained. It is a cola flavor. Um, if I had to like describe the cola flavor, I would say it's more like an RC than anything that I've had. Um, but the curry flavor is definitely there. You get a curry flavor. I don't know like what to how to explain curry besides saying it's curry. Because uh, it's not really similar to other spices that I, I, I'm familiar with. But the curry in here and the curry in here taste very similar. Um, I'm assuming they just both use a curry powder. Whereas the, the original cup noodles had a lot of different flavors to make their original chicken, salty, peppery flavor. The basics of this is curry. And although this has other stuff in it, the main flavor is curry. Of the two that I've tried so far, I think I prefer the original one over the curry, but the curry is still good. As similarities go, though, these uh, flavors are pretty much spot on when you compare this tastes like the same curry mixed with cola as this does the same curry mixed with noodles and and meatier flavors this doesn't have any like meaty flavor to it it just has the curry powder flavor to it really good. They did a great job of matching a soda flavor to this cup of noodles. Um, and, and as far as that goes, like matching these up, it's definitely a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, however you want to say it. Flavor-wise, uh, this curry is not my favorite. The curry's okay. It's not like my one of my favorite things to eat. Uh, but as far as matching up flavors, it is very good at doing that. So if you like curry flavor, not spicy, but curry flavor, then you'll like both of these. Although this is uh, a way more available than this is or ever will be that I can think of. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, part two of four. Uh, three will be coming out shortly after this one. Hope to see you there. Remember to like the, this video, comment under this video, and subscribe to this channel to see more interesting foods that are interesting to me. Anyway, catch you in the next one. So long. Bye.